Rolling? Okay. And action. Doris. Darwin. Uh, are you finished yet? Betty, calm down. You shouldn't be home for hours. Come give your striking your husband a kiss. The ink isn't dry yet. Why don't we just leave tonight after the party? Eugene. I thought you were going to be at the bar. They closed. Honestly, you act as the prohibition never happened. Was I talking to you? <laughs> what are you even doing here again? And why are you wearing that cheap shit? It's after the ceremony. We're getting ready for the party, Jean. Yeah, Jean, have another bottle. Eugene, you're hurting me. <laughs> Who do you think you are? You need to leave now, you stupid. Stupid slut! Nobody talks to me like that. Doris, you should leave. It's okay. Are you unhappy? Of course I'm unhappy. Did you want to try something more modern in our marriage? Please, but what are you talking about? Dear Miss Adkins, Production code adopted by the board of directors of the Motion Picture Producers and Distributors of America, Inc. on March 31st, 1934, provides as follows. Each production shall submit to every picture he produces before the negative goes to the laboratory for printing. In your case, the script was approved, but the offensive material was not fully indicated in the script. Our concerns with this film are listed as follows. Infidelity, sexual perversion. Your female protagonist is a married woman having an affair with another woman and they share a kiss on screen. Alcoholism, Eugene's character is a drunk. The violence in this scene needs to be tamed. Doris, the dress needs to be left revealing and the profanity needs to be taken out. I should remind you that the moving picture is a medium that everyone enjoys and these types of perversions cannot be shown to the general public. I've already sent this man a letter. As I'm sure you know, these perversions are essential to our story and to the rest of the film. And I suppose I can do without the profanity, but I wanted to get us all together before we film to address this. This is a suggestion. Well, it's not in their eyes, but they're not Hollywood people, and we can fool them. Oh, Doris, what a sight. So, are you ready for the big day with your handsome young man? Don't talk about it like that. I'm happy. So am I. Darling, you're home early. Are you making fun of me? We're getting ready for the party, Jean. You can't call me that. It's, you know, it's time for you to go. I'm here for Betty. Why don't you just meet us at the party, Jean? Miss Arlene, we appreciate the new cut, but are still dissatisfied. It seems that the male character on screen is being becoming less and less significant and more and more effeminate. That needs to be taken out, and his alcohol consumption needs to be completely eradicated. The dress needs to be covered at all times. The kiss on the cheek is fine, but the eye contact needs to last less than three seconds under the rules of the code. This is the final notice. Okay, that's the cat. That was great. Okay, I really... Okay, and action. This is still salvageable. We can have your character smoking, and um, Betty needs to smoke too, but she doesn't have a lighter, so Doris brings her in and, you know... And lights her five with my five? Yes, yes, exactly. And if we capture that moment just in the right way, it could work. We just need to... Well, hello. Thank you for deciding to come. My husband was... Yeah, you already told me, I get it. I have a life outside of this. So do we. I just want to get this film done right. I want to get this done right. Arlene, I appreciate everything you've done for my career, but- Don't say it. Okay, let's have you and Doris run that scene. Um, okay, Doris just rang the doorbell and you answered smoking already, blah, 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 but Betty, uh, let's, 
from you and tries to find her lighter, but she can't find it. Then, Doris, you look into Betty's eyes for less than three seconds and assist in lighting her cigarette with your cigarette. Fuck! Hello. I could step in. We aren't working on that scene. No, it's fine. Let's, let's get Jean in here. Okay, uh, let's start with Eugene's lines from the door. Action. I thought, would es- I thought I would escort my wife to the party myself. Doesn't seem right for a woman to be chaperoned by another woman. No. Sorry. Um, Jean, I thought you said you couldn't make it. Henry decided to go to Palm Springs and it's a different Sunday. Eugene, you need to tone it down with your partner. What are you talking about? People are talking. It's not a good look for this project. You need to be a little bit fucking clearer, I mean. This picture is getting all sorts, it's getting pulled in all sorts of directions. I can't have you be as open as you are. Well, that never seemed to be a problem before. It's a problem now. Well, I'd much rather be with Henry right now anyway. Where are you going? We have a scene to finish. I'm not doing this anymore. You have a contract. (laughs) Rip it up. I don't care. You don't understand what you're doing, Eugene. It's not personal. Think about the big picture of what we're doing this for. I am not fighting for this picture anymore. Don't want to disappear. I don't want to disappear. Take it from the cigarette. Or leave. Do it. Oh, Doris, what a sight. So, are you ready for the big day with your handsome young man? Don't talk about it like that. I'm happy. Me too. Uh, Would you like to take off your coat? That's all right. I just came to pick you up for the party. Eugene, I, I, I thought you were going to meet us at the party. I thought I would escort my wife to the party myself. Doesn't seem right for a woman to be chaperoned by another woman. Well, I guess that could be right. We could agree to disagree, in this moment at least. I do love my husband. It's just the natural order. <laughs> hey, that's a cut. Yeah, nice job. Yay! Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.